Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. You guys know I've been struggling with dry scalp for the past couple of months since I started taking vitamin A to clear my skin. One of the first ingredients that I tried when I cleared my skin was aloe vera. So I wanted to see what that could do for my hair as well. The plant has so many beneficial properties for your hair. So when the company Seven Minerals reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their organic aloe vera, I was thrilled. Over the past 14 days, I've been using Seven Minerals organic aloe vera on my hair and scalp. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what this did for my 4C natural hair. My friends at Seven Minerals also agreed to participate in a giveaway. So there will be two winners and I'll talk about that a little bit more at the end. So stay tuned for how you can win. I've got a lot of new subscribers recently, so I want to say thank you and welcome to the family. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get started. When I first got the gel, I was really just trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to use it because there's so many different ways you can incorporate it in your routine as a mask, as a pre-poo, as a leave-in conditioner. And so I decided to incorporate it in just about every single part of my uh, hair care routine. Now, obviously you can use the actual leaf. You don't have to buy a bottled one, but depending on where you are, sometimes the leaf can be kind of hard to find. For me personally, it is difficult to find the actual leaf and they can be pretty expensive. This one is a decent size. It has 12 fluid ounces of product and it's, it's not too expensive. It's about $24.95 for a bottle. Because it's 99% organic, it doesn't really have any additives in it, which means it's very highly concentrated, which means that you can use it for a very long period of time. Normally store-bought aloe veras are loaded with a bunch of filler ingredients, alcohols, preservatives, and fragrances that really just don't need to be in it. So when I looked at the ingredient list of this product, I was thoroughly surprised. The ingredients listed are USA grown organic aloe barbadenis, which is aloe, agar, citric acid, ascorbic acid, and potassium sorbates. These are just mild preservatives. It also says there's no added water, it's alcohol free, and it says on the bottle, no unnecessary ingredients. So that is music to my ear. I've obviously used aloe vera in the past, so I was expecting it to be very sticky because that's the consistency of aloe. But let me just show you guys the texture. It literally looks like you took an aloe vera leaf and scooped out the jelly and threw it in a blender and that's it. It has a very light texture, it's very watery. It doesn't have any humectin, so there's no real slip when you just take it out of the bottle. And aloe to me smells a little bit bitter, but this aloe smells like Angostura bitters. Um, it's a bark used for its medicinal properties in a lot of Caribbean households. It doesn't quite smell like the actual leaf, but it has a natural barky scent. And it doesn't have any fragrance in it, so it's probably just like the combination of the mild preservatives that it has that's giving it that scent. Day number one. I decided to try this straight out of the bottle on my hair and my scalp. Initially putting on my hair, it had a very interesting texture. I just finished washing my hair and today I clarified and deep conditioned and we're ready to jump into our aloe vera. So I've got my aloe vera gel from Seven Minerals that I'm going to be using as my leave-in. I've got some water and a spray bottle to refresh my hair. I'm going to be using the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream as a moisturizer. And then I have the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. My hair has definitely gotten a lot healthier from where it was before. So my main goal right now is just length retention. For a very long time, I thought that my hair was just damaged, but this is a completely different texture than this is. This is 4C hair, and I believe this is maybe 4B hair. And for a very long time, like I said, I thought that this was just damaged, so I would always just cut it off keep cutting it off and it'll grow back the exact same way so now I know I have two different textures it is legitimately like 99% aloe vera so it's really really natural the only thing I'm afraid of is any no it just completely melts into your hair okay just afraid of like the flakes or anything. So take it to the scalp, rub it in a little bit. 
The majority of my moisturizer comes from my deep conditioner because I don't like my hair to feel heavy or weighed down. My hair is very light anyways, so anything weighing it down is just a little bit too much for me. And just a little bit, I don't want to use too much of it at all because my intention is not to make my hair prickly. One thing I'll say about the gel is because it is like basically 99% aloe vera, it is very potent and it doesn't really have a lot of slip in it. So it kind of took me using the moisturizer to get that slickness to my hair, but it was very hydrated without feeling sticky and greasy and oily. There really was no slip to this product whatsoever. And in hindsight, I probably should have added other ingredients from the get go, but I really wanted to see if you could use it as is. The verdict is please add other ingredients into it if you want it to actually be more malleable in your hair. Once I added my oils and my butters into my hair, it was a lot easier to maneuver and to manipulate my hair. I still feel like I didn't use enough moisturizer to prevent the water loss. So over the next four days, things happen. I was literally just massaging my hair and I'm getting more flakes. Oh, they are just falling. I'm sorry for anyone who's triggered by this, but they, my scalp is just drying up so bad. So, um, see the thing is my hair itself is really moisturized. It feels really hydrated. It does not feel dry, but my scalp feels extremely dry, not itchy, but just dry. Perhaps blend it in with a humectant or some type of oil. The hair, bomb, moisturized, feels good, shiny, all that good stuff. The scalp, we're gonna have to work on that. Honestly, that was on me, so from here on out, I decided to use it in a different way. For week two, I decided to use this product a little bit differently, and I used it in a spray bottle. So this is the aloe vera diluted with water, glycerin, as well as tea tree oil. And I use this as a hair refresher. I did wear my hair in the twist that you saw in the previous clip over the next five days, and my hair was really, really moisturized. It felt so good. The second way I decided to use the spray version of the aloe vera was as a pre-poo to protect your hair before you shampoo. Now I do currently use shampoos with sulfates, I am looking for ones that are sulfate free, so if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below. But I do have some bottles of sulfate shampoos. I'm not gonna throw them away, so I'm gonna use them, and then once they're done, then I will buy something new. It's this whole new thing that I'm trying to try to curb my product junkiness, a menace, right? It's week number two, and I just finished washing my hair and blow drying it, y'all. It feels really juicy, feels really healthy, and it's not sticky or oily. It just feels really, really nice. And even on my scalp, it feels nice and clean. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and style my hair and then I will be right back. All right, so it is time to wash my hair. I did actually end up adding a little bit of like Kinecolon extension just to protect my ends because I just felt like it was rubbing against my shoulders and stuff, so I wanted to protect that. So this obviously is not the length of my hair. My hair feels good. I haven't had any itchiness at all. My hair has just felt really moisturized. And I've got my aloe vera water. I've got my oil. And we're gonna pre-poo with this together. So there we go. It feels it feels really good, especially like around my scalp. The ends are a little bit dry, but my hair is dry, so you know, that is bound to happen, but it feels pretty moist. I'm just gonna go through the scalp. Oh, let's give it a little spray. Okay. And then I'm gonna go through the scalp and see what we've got.
So I must say that my hair has been really moisturized using this aloe, but one thing I do want to stress, if your hair is anything like mine, you may want to add other ingredients to your aloe, which is how I prefer to use it. So with my spray as well, just add in water because the aloe is so organic that it doesn't have any of those other alcohols, any other ingredients in it, which is great, but you might need to put some other things in it to just make it more malleable. Um, Cause like I said, it has like no slip whatsoever. So I like to put glycerin, water, and a type of essential oil. That's perfect for me. I've been loving using it as a pre-poo. I've never pre-pooed my hair, but my hair feels really good after doing so. Wow, look at that. Oh, feels amazing. Feels so good. Oh, it has actually grown. Who would have thunk my hair? No, it is so much longer. I am shocked at how much just a little bit of a scalp treatment and some aloe vera can do for you. That is so crazy. Overall, I really did enjoy using Seven Minerals Organic Aloe Vera, and it is so nice to be able to find an organic aloe vera that you can trust is what it claims to be. I thoroughly enjoyed using this product and I find it really hydrating to your hair as long as you're mixing it with other things and not using it as is. Of course, it does actually say on the bottle that you can and they suggest using other things with it. You can find this online on their website as well as on Amazon and this product will last you quite a long time. For the giveaway, there will be two winners. All you have to do to be entered is of course be a subscriber. And number two, comment down below seven minerals and your Instagram handle. The two winners will be chosen two weeks from today on my Instagram, so please check your DMs just in case I contact you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it. Let me know if you've ever tried Seven Minerals or Aloe Vera on your hair. I would love to hear your thoughts. Click over here to see some of my previous videos, and as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!